we are given some information on the stock of company PQR as well as the option on the stock. We are told that the current stock price denoted by S0 equals 100. In six months time, the stock price could go up to SU which equals 150 or it could go down to SD which equals 50. A call option on the stock of PQR has strike of 110 and time to maturity of this option is six months or 0.5 years. The discount rate that we're given is 5% and in this example we will assume that this is continuously compounded. We are asked to price this option using the portfolio replication approach. In this approach the idea is to set up a portfolio using stock and bond such that it exactly replicates the payoff of this option. So let's start by writing the payoff of a call option. The payoff of a call option is just the maximum of the terminal stock price minus the strike price or zero which is also often written as the terminal stock price minus the strike price with a superscript plus. Using this payoff function we can calculate the payoff of the call option on the stock of company PQR. If in six months time the stock price goes up to SU which equals 150, the call option will be in the money and the payoff of the option will be 150 minus the strike price of 110 which equals 40. On the other hand, if the stock price goes down to 50, the call option will be out of money as the stock price will be less than the strike price of 110 and in that case the payoff of the option will be zero. So if our portfolio of stock and bond is exactly able to replicate these payoffs then under no arbitrage the current value of that portfolio must be equal to the price of the call option. So let's set up a portfolio that aims to replicate these payoffs. So our portfolio setup is as follows. First we have to take a position in delta shares where S denotes the value of the share and we have to take a position in risk free bonds B. So if the portfolio that we construct by taking the position in stock and bond exactly replicates the payoff of this option then under no arbitrage the current value of this portfolio must equal the price of the call option. So if C denotes the current price of the call option then C equals the current value of our stock position which is S0 the current stock price times delta which is the number of shares we're long plus the value of our bond position. Following the methodology described in the tutorial on portfolio replication approach, we will use our pricing rule. So our pricing rule is as follows. If the terminal value of the stock price equals SU, which in turn equals 150, the value of our portfolio should equal the payoff in the upstate which is 40. So the value of our portfolio is the value of our stock position which is 150 delta plus the value of our bond position in six months. And this should equal 40. On the other hand, if the terminal value of the stock price equals SD which in turn equals 50. The value of our portfolio must be equal to the payoff of the option in downstate which is zero. So the value of our portfolio is the value of our stock position which is 50 times delta plus the value of our bond position in six months time.
and this should equal 0. Let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2. So we have two equations and two unknowns, delta and b. So we can solve for the values of unknowns as follows. If we subtract equation 2 from equation 1, we get 150 delta minus 50 delta to equal 40. Solving for delta, we get delta equals 4 over 10, which equals 2 over 5. So we know the value of our delta, which is essentially the number of stocks that we have to go long. We can insert this value into either one of the two equations to solve for the current value of the position in risk-free bond. So let's take equation 2. Our equation 2 is 50 delta plus the value of the bond position in 6 months equal to 0. We have just calculated the value of our delta so plugging in the value, we get 50 times delta, which is 2 over 5, plus B, which is the current value of the position in the risk-free bond, growing at the risk-free rate over 6 months to equal 0. And solving for B, we get B equal to negative 19.5. So we have to buy two-fifths of a share and borrow 19.5 at the risk-free rate to exactly replicate the payoff of this call option. Let's check whether we have calculated the values of delta and B correctly. We can plug in these values into equations 1 and 2 to check our calculations. So using equation 1, we get 150 times delta which is 2 over 5, plus a short position in the risk-free bond equal to 19.5, growing at the risk-free rate over 6 months' time to equal 40. The left-hand side of this equation equals 40, which equals the right-hand side of the equation. So our values of delta and B satisfy equation 1. Let's plug these values in equation 2 now. So equation 2 is as follows. 50 times delta, which is 2 over 5, plus a short position in the risk-free bond equal to 19.5, grows at the risk-free rate over 6 months to equal 0. When we do the calculation, the left-hand side of this equation equals 0 and matches the right-hand side. So this confirms that the values of delta and B help us take a position in stock and bond such that the combined portfolio exactly replicates the payoff of the option in both states. Therefore, under no arbitrage, the present value of this portfolio must equal the price of the call option. So the price of this call option equals the current price of the stock, which is 100, times delta, which is 2 over 5, plus a short position in the risk-free bond equal to 19.5. And this equals 20.5. So the price of this call option is 20.5. We have used the portfolio replication approach to price an option in a discrete time framework. If there are any questions or comments, please feel free to post. Thank you.